What time is it, Robbie? It's rest zone time. Oh, you say that so good, like a pro. All right, so oh, yeah. what, what are we going to do today? What are we doing today? All right, guys, check this out. Today, 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 we're going to learn about AND gates. Ooh, we're going to learn about T flip-flops. Ooh, yeah. And then we're going to kind of dabble a little bit in passworded doors, gates, stuff, passwords, redstone. Okay, let's go. Let's go, yeah. All right, so what do we have here, dude? All right, well, if you come over on this side, here's your basic AND gate. And now what this does is actually it requires two redstone sources to be powering it in order for it to be turned on. Now, if you come over on this side, you can see there are two levers powering it, and the signal is on. So if we go ahead and turn one of those levers off, the signal is off. Now, if you turn the second lever off, the signal will stay off. Stays off. So, it's, so it's, it's, it's gated. So whether they both sources have to be on in order for this torch to go off. Yep. Now, if you look behind you over here at the second gate, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's inverted, meaning both of the redstone sources have to be off in order for the signal to be on. Yes, that's what I meant over here. These two have to be on in order for this to be on. When these two are off, this is off. But just the opposite, when these two are on, that's off. When these two are off, that's on. So that's how it works. And gates. The more you know. All right, so we have some examples set up for them, right? Well, are we looking at the other gate, the T well, flippity we're gonna, floppity? We're going to look at the the T flippus floppus. That is the <laughs> Latin pronunciation of the T flip flop. For those of you that do not know what the T flip flop is, um, layman's terms: toggle switch. In your house, you should have one of these, multiples of these, actually, where you have a light that's controlled by a little switch that flips up and down. Stays in the on position, stays in the off position. That's called a toggle switch, hence T flip flop. So let me show you how the T flip is flap is, is built. It's very cool. So you can do this with sticky pistons or non sticky pistons. I choose to use sticky pistons because I'm cool. That's why my mom told me so. Okay, so here, just like this, and then boop, boop. Boop, just and you make that noise too and you make it boop, just like that it doesn't and work if you don't boop. do it nope it does not work and then redstone at the top do not forget this redstone at the top this is very very important and a lot of people forget that so at this point we lead some redstone coming off here this becomes our power source right there now obviously that torch is not it's not powering anything but as soon as that block slides over that torch that block becomes powered and hence this wire becomes powered so the way we get this working is we come over here we're gonna pull a little button out of our bag of tricks right there done and we're gonna slap a button right up here I'm literally gonna slap it okay so there's my s and we hit it and done there's our power source hit it again and there we go it's off now that's a T flip-flop so it remains in the off position and it remains in the on position. This is a very important, very important to remember this because you're going to use this a lot inside of custom maps. Um, and a lot of people say this, well, hey, Lachlan, how about if I just, how about if I just use one of these? Because right, it, it right here, already set up. Did you set it up? He already right. set it up. Look at this. Right here. How about if we just use one of these? Okay. So let's say let's say there's a door like right here. Let's say the dirt represents a door, and you want to come in here, press the lever to open the door. Let's say the door is opened up. Now, if you want to go on this side and close the door, you can't nope. because the signal is already on on the other side. And so let me show them what we mean by that. So let's go over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay this out just like this. A couple of these out just like this here, and one more like so. And then I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put it just like this to here to here just like that okay so now from this point we're gonna put that that and that there so where is my button grab my button just like so and let's put this here here and there we hit this and the door opens we hit this and the door closes and we hit this 
and the door opens. Now, the way that this works and the reason why it works like this is a T flip-flop gives you the ability to have multiple inputs to one output. So instead of this over here, which is everybody's like, why don't you just use the, 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 the lever? Oh yeah, well this is why you don't use the lever. It's cool and it works, but it only works one and that's it. This, you can have multiple from all over your house. You can have, oh well hey, I wanna open up the windows. Or hey, let's just open up the garage. Or hey, let's go ahead and open up the sunroom. That's how it works. So that's why a T flip flop, I feel, my reasons, is so important. You have the ability to have multiple inputs and one output. So you can have switches all over the place and they'll control whatever you want it to control at that point. So that's why, that's why it's important. How do you, do you think it, why do you think it's important? A lot, a lot. Yeah, so that is it. Okay, so next, here's the next thing we're going to look at. So let's go over here to these examples. Let's look at this example here. So what do we have here? Okay, so this is just an example of a room you can make in a custom map. And basically what it does is it utilizes the some timing with some repeaters, uh, a T flip flop, and also an AND gate. So, so let's if look we look down here, let's explain them. Let's explain to them how this is going to work. Now, if you come over here, I don't know where you are. Okay, right here. So there's a pressure plate right there. That when you stand down, it delivers power. Now this splits into two different signals right here. One signal goes directly to our AND gate. And our other signal actually travels through the timer over here and takes um, a lot longer to travel actually than this really fast signal. And at the end here with the AND gate, when the two signals meet at the AND gate, it uh, triggers the T flip flop and opens the door. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the example. So in here, here's a good, this is a good rule of thumb when you have, when you're doing stuff for a custom map. It's always good to have a visual indicator. It's almost, think about it this way. When you're loading up a game and you see the little screen that says loading, that's a visual indicator that lets you know that something is happening. When you don't see that, that means something is broke or they just were dumb and didn't put in a loading screen. So we come over here, step on this. Now you'll see at this point, the light goes on, that light goes on, that light goes on. So when those three lights are on, you can step off of this and what's going to happen is the door will open just like that pretty simple it's simple but yet it gives a visual indicator to the user that something is happening same with this over here now what we have here this is kind of like a buddy system door so we have this let's go around here hi buddy hi buddy so we have an AND gate here which is hooked to another T flip-flop once again you're starting to see a lot of T flip-flops you're gonna see these a lot depending on what you're doing inside of the custom map. So let's go this way and it's going to take two of us because there's two sides to the AND gate. Now you see the visual indicator. The visual indicator is the lights right there. So once I get on my pressure plate, he gets on his pressure plate. That goes off and then when we step off, watch what happens. It opens. So there we go. Open Yay. the door. Open the door. See? That was easy. That was easy. All right, so now we told you that we were going to kind of, you know, scratch the surface of passworded locks. So if we come over here, you can see this is a very simple Wait, Actually, all right, so let's go over here because there's another one I want to show you guys. Let's come over here. I can't even hop up. Okay, so now let's look at this. So if you look, it's got down, down. Wait, yeah, down, down, up, 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 down, down. That's the password to get that door open. So if we shut this. Okay, so you can see it is now shut, so obviously the password is wrong. Now, put it back down again. Let's go through here, and let's look at the wiring behind this. Now, as you can see, the wiring behind this, is it's, it's dealing with a lot of the AND gates that we talked about. And so he's got a torch that represents each switch on the back end right there. And so each torch has either a positive or negative, binary, one or zero. And... The, basically, what you want to do is the main, like your your comp, your main achievement for this or accomplishment or however you want to do it, you want both of these right here to be off, which causes this right here to open. If these were not, if this is also, this is an inverted AND gate. So once it's inverted like this, 
once the password's wrong, that door will shut over there. Now there are different ways to do this. As you can see, he used the, there's a lot of AND gates that were used here. But if you come over here, you can do it like this. You can do the same thing here. You've got the switches. Now this is smaller, but you can make this as, as big as you want. So you have the switches there, and any switch that represents a off position or switch down, you put torches on. Any switch that the switch needs to be in the up position, you don't put a torch on. So it's going to look just like this. And then you're going to just have a basically an inverter right here. And this inverter is going to keep this part of the AND gate if the password is wrong in the on position constantly. And it will never work. And then over here, this part of the AND gate here is hooked to a button. So as you can see right now, the password is correct. And the reason why the password is correct is because none of those torches are on and none of this is lit up here and this torch is on. If these were incorrect, flip one of those over there. If these were incorrect, that torch would be off, causing this torch to come back on. So flip, hit the switch, the button. So when he hits the button, you see how the torch goes off, but this torch stays on. Now make the password correct. Same with this, as you can see here. And then as he hits the button, turns it off, which causes that to come on and activates the piston. That's how you do it. Now this is a, this is a larger footprint here, but this is just the same thing. As you can see, it is a multiple switch password. Now I did this same thing inside of my uh, three strikes you're out. So there's just there's a lot of different ways to do this. And what we'll be doing later on in the series is we'll be we'll actually be diving deeper into the uh, passworded switches to show you how to do it with buttons and how to make it activate, you know, I don't know, different things, timed events, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You have anything to say, bro? Um, not really. Just make sure to use this on servers. You can protect your house, but some people want to just, you know, just rummage through it and just break down your walls. So, I don't think it's that safe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't but think it's that safe either. If you can protect your house somehow from griefing, Definitely uh, a good password. Yes. So there you go. Uh, also, once again, you guys, don't forget, please check out X2Robbie2X's channel. The link will be in the description and in the right-hand corner of the video. So remember, guys, if you like this, support it, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, buddy. See ya. Bye.